Hello and welcome to another episode of Audio Based Content, an improv comedy podcast. I am your host, Aaron V. Felder. On this show, friends come over and play pretend with me. The show is improvised, so everything you hear is made up as we go along. We base our improvised scenes on a chosen audio format. My guest today is Kira Madison, and I present to you two recent teenagers talking through tin cans connected with a string. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Yeah. You there? Yeah. Hey, Jimmy, I just got back from swim class. How was it? Oh, my God, dude. Rachel's in my swim class. No, she isn't. Her parents let her come to class in a bikini. (gasps) She's way too young. She's not too young. You're so lucky. I mean, we're all 13. Yeah, well, I'm not allowed to wear a Speedo. Ugh, you want to wear a Speedo? Yeah, I think they're cool. Why would you think they're cool? I heard that gay guys wear Speedos. No, I mean, a lot of people wear Speedos. People in Europe wear speedos, and foreign people are cool. Foreign people are cool? Yeah. That's not what my TV said. Uh, have you been watching the news again? Sometimes my dad has it on. Jeremy, don't watch it. It's just sad stuff. It's sad? Yeah, it's sad. It's depressing. Some of it's kind of cool. I mean, some of it's kind of cool, but my mom says some of it's even fake. What's the point of some news? Some of fake? Yeah, but, like, what's the point if it's I news? S- I saw this one video where this pig saved a goat in a river. Do you think that was fake? I don't know. That sounds pretty awesome. It does. It was awesome. I wouldn't have thought that either of those animals could swim very well. The goat was not. It, it was having a hard time, and the pig jumped in the water, ran up to the goat, and like got it to a rock. And then the goat climbed up on a rock. And then what happened to the pig? Floated down the river. Oh, so it didn't make it. I don't know. I like to think it, it, it washed up ashore before it hit the falls. I like to think so, too. So you're basically going to be able to swim the falls soon with all those swim lessons. Like swim up the falls? No, but like survive it. What do you mean? Like you could survive swimming in it. Like over it? Yeah. You think I should do that? Not yet, but like maybe a little more practice. Like You could be the pig. I could be the pig. That saves the goat. Maybe I could save the pig. Maybe he's still going down that river. That's true. Do you think he is? When did you see it on the news? Like recently? Uh, like two months ago. Yeah. I don't know if that pig's still floating down the river. Uh. It's okay, David. You can save other animals. Yeah? Yeah. Like fish? I mean... Like if That's I, an interesting concept, because do fish need to be saved if they already know how to swim? Well, like, what if I see salmon swimming downstream? I could turn them around. And send them upstream. Good call. And if, if I see a bear, I can be like, don't go there. Into There's the, a bear. Oh, go the you- other way. To the fish, like you tell the fish, don't go that way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't feed that bear. You should have some backup food to give the bear so that it doesn't eat you. What do bears eat? Would they not have to bring fish? That's what I'm saying, like backup food that's not fish because that would defeat the whole purpose of your trip, which is to save the fish. Right, but I think that's all bears eat. Bears eat fish. 
Um, I don't know. I think sometimes they eat like berries. Berries? Yeah. The same bears that eat fish eat berries? Yeah, you know, all about the food pyramids, not just for humans. Like, everyone needs a balanced diet. Really? I think so. What about flamingos? I I heard I learned in biology class that flamingos just eat shrimp. Wow. I did not know that. That's why they're pink. They eat so much shrimp that it turns them pink. That is cool. I wonder if we ate only shrimp, if we would turn pink. I don't know. I wouldn't want to try that. I don't want to try it either. The only thing There's... I'm eating right now is peanut butter and jelly. Shrimp look like bugs. But like, yeah, they do. They look like bugs. They kind of look like, like the shrimp without the stuff on the outside. Yeah. That just looks like brains. Oh, I thought it looked like maggots. Like giant maggots. Oh, yeah, that too. But brains, yeah, it does kind of look like brains. It's colored like brains. Like maggot brains. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> One time, I thought I was going to eat popcorn chicken, and it was popcorn shrimp. Oh, did you still eat it? I ate, I, I swallowed the first one. But no more after that. No, I didn't eat anymore. You know, popcorn chicken is pretty good. I do like popcorn chicken because it's so crunchy. Yeah. I feel like, though, if you put enough sauce, like that cocktail sauce, on the popcorn shrimp, maybe it wouldn't be bad. But that cocktail sauce, it was, like, bitter. Oh. Maybe you need a different sauce, like ketchup. Which then would just be, like, the chicken. Just dip it in ketchup. Yeah. I guess... Everything tastes like chicken when you dip it in ketchup. <laughs> or does it taste like ketchup? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know. I've never eaten chicken without putting it in ketchup. Me neither. What's the point? Like You've got to have dipping sauces. Yeah, you need dipping. Well, just ketchup. I mean, honey mustard's pretty good, too. It's gross. Uh, what about when you go to McDonald's and you get the drive through and you get the McChicken box? I get sweet and sour sauce. I don't get ketchup. Those ketchup packets are so hard to open when you're in the car. The chicken nuggets? Yeah. I get sweet and sour I sauce. I just put ketchup on them. Yeah, but I'm seeing that the to-go packages of the ketchup are really hard to open, and I need a lot of ketchup, which is a lot of packages to open. I just I just tear tear the part off, and then I just dump it all over the carton of uh, uh, chicken nuggets. And then close it and shake it up? Yeah. That's smart. It's like I'm eating wings. Good call. I've never had wings. Bones are gross. Yeah, I've had boneless wings. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. That sounds good. One time That's my That's basically dad, like a chicken tender. <laughs> it's, it, it's basically a chicken nugget. <laughs> Except yeah. it's like, I don't know, it's like a little bigger. A little... Yeah. It's not as... Like they're, you know, how chicken nuggets. It's like they're all either square or that weird zigzaggy. <laughs> yeah. Mc, Mc, like an McDonald's S, but ones. sideways. Yeah, or like dinosaur shaped. But like when my dad took me to this bar and we had boneless chicken wings, they were like just big pieces of chicken. Your dad took you to a bar. Yeah. To like have you know. The drinks. No. Delay to try a sip. No, but he showed me this, um, like, video game that was on the counter that had a naked lady on it. Whoa. I bet that's It what? wasn't a real naked lady. It was just like a... Like a... Like a cartoon? A sort. Well, you know, like a, bi- like a graphic. What's the difference between a graphic and a cartoon? It was like in, a, in the game. It's like a game graphic. I'll have to Google that later. I don't know what the difference is. But anyways, you saw a naked graphic. Do you think it looks pretty similar to a naked lady? Yeah, I think it looks just like a naked lady. Maybe that's what Rachel looks like without the bikini. I don't know. This Why? is like a grown, a grown up lady. Oh, okay. So like your mom. Oh, well, she's a grown-up lady. 
Yeah, but I don't want to think about my mom look having boobs. Okay. Well, think about Rachel. That's like what she will look like. And like, what? How old do you have to be to be grown? Like eighteen. I That's don't know. Five years and five years, she wow. can look like that. You believe that? Yeah. You should make your move now, for sure. In swim class. Lock it down. That's right. Lock it down and keep it for at least three years. Yeah, sixteen good age. Oh wait, five years, maybe. Well, what are we talking about? Like, what's going to happen? Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe I need to wait until she's 21 so we can drink. But, oh, wow. That's, like, a lot to do at 21. That's a like, huge investment. I feel like if I start dating her now, mm -hmm. then by the time she looks like the lady. The lady. The lady of the graphic. Yeah, yeah, from the game. It'll be like it won't it won't last that long. What won't last? Us. Oh. Hmm. I mean, I mean I'm just thirteen. Yeah, that's a lot. Have you ever time. heard of people dating from the time they're thirteen to 20. 16, 21? I mean, I mean, my parents have been together for like 17 years, but they didn't start dating when they were 13. I don't think. I don't know. I think it was more like in their 20s. But some people make their it work. Their 20s? Yeah. Do you think your parents lost their virginity to each other? <laughs> I don't know. Do you? I don't know. Maybe. I'd have never asked. Ugh, why would you? Well, I don't know. You made it sound like I should, so I should know the answer to that Are question. You gonna? Now I kind of want to. You do kind of want to? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll ask my dad to take me to the same bar that your dad took you to. Yeah. And then when he shows me the naked lady, I'll be like, Did mom look like that when you lost your virginities to each other? And just see what he says. Oh, you set it up like that? Yeah. Yeah, but then isn't he just going to be like, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you think he'd lie to me? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, we're not like a religious household, so they haven't said, like, you can't have sex until you're married. But, oh. like, if you think he's lying to me, I'm definitely going to word it differently. Yeah. But no matter how I worded it, if he was going to lie, he would just lie anyway. It's true. This is getting complicated. Yeah. Maybe I'll ask mom. Yeah. She's not a good liar. <laughs> <laughs> I know my parents weren't virgins. How do you know? Because I remember when they used to fight before my dad left that my dad would always uh, say that he didn't know if we, if we were his and all this stuff. Whoa. Your dad said he didn't know if you and your siblings were his. Like That's what he said. Had his DNA. And he would yell at my mom and call her, <sighs> call her stuff, and say say she she was. Wait, how long have your parents not been together, David? Um, I think it's like two years now. Wow. You know, uh, my older brother, when he did his uh, chemistry class, they got to learn about DNA. So I bet when you get to chemistry, you could learn about DNA and find out if your dad is actually your dad. I know my dad's my dad. But, like, he's... I just mean he would, you know, it meant my mom slept with people. She had sex. Yeah, but... And my dad's always bragging about how he had sex before he was married, too. Wait, did your mom have sex with other people while they were together? I don't think so. Oh, I thought you were saying that your dad was mad at your mom. He would say that and call her names and stuff. Have you been to therapy? No. 
Just wondering. I heard therapy is good for. I'm not imagining this. No, I know. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, I know. Therapy's for crazy people. I'm That's not, not true. Uh uh-uh. uh. Not crazy. It's, you know, you're not crazy, David. I never said you're crazy. Maybe you are crazy if you're insinuating that I said you were crazy. I'm just kidding. I know you're not crazy. Don't be no. mad. Listen. Therapy. There's a lot of people from our school who've been to therapy. Okay, 50% of marriages end in divorce. Uh, Denise. Her Denise? Parents, yeah, her parents got divorced when she was seven. And she said, quote, I've never been the same since. What? Yeah. Denise. Yeah. Goes to therapy? Yeah, but she likes it. She likes it? Yeah. She says it makes her feel nice. Do they give you candy, like, at the doctor? Oh, maybe, like, lollipops when you're done or something? Yeah. Maybe. I hope it's better than lollipops, though. Like a whole candy bar. Yeah, what did this eye doctor want? And he had snack cakes. What are those snack cakes? Like, uh... Like... Snack like, size cakes, <laughs> like zebra cakes, and uh, oh, uh, like uh, Twinkies, Twinkies, yeah, the, uh, the cupcakes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. This year, when we go trick or treating, we gotta go to the really fancy neighborhoods because they give out whole candy bars. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is probably the last year we can go. Yeah, probably right. You're getting pretty tall. Yeah. Looking premature. People are going to start asking questions. Oh, it's 13. Yeah. Unless we plan like elaborate costumes where they couldn't really see our face. Because, you know, yeah. there are some tall 11 yeah. year olds and they still deserve to go trick or treating. You know, Jake told me he got invited to a party on Halloween last year. No, this year this he's going to go to a party. He's not going with us. Well, we didn't get invited? No. Is it a boy-girl party? Yeah. I really want to go to a boy-girl party. I know. Maybe we should throw our own boy-girl party. You can invite Rachel (sighs) and some of her friends. What, you don't want to? (sighs) I I don't know. I I could plan it. If that's the reason that's holding you back. Well, then why would you... Maybe we should throw it at your place. Okay. I My mom ask. wouldn't want me to throw a party. Why not? God, she'd have to clean up and... Ugh, well, that's like every mom. Like, every time anyone comes over, even if it's like... My grandma, my mom's like, oh, we gotta clean the house. I'm like, it's already pretty clean. Yeah, but my mom has two jobs. Okay, so her mom's busy, is what you're saying. Yeah. Do you help out? Around the house. Yeah. That's nice of you. Well, she makes me. Oh. Well, I mean, she works really hard to give you and your siblings an education <laughs> and a I home. Guess. I mean, she has two jobs. You just said. Sometimes I think she likes it. Likes working a lot? Yeah. Because then she doesn't have to spend time with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> that was a funny. I'm sorry. No, it's true. Well, at least your dad comes and visits and takes you to bars. Yeah. He spent most of that day at that bar talking to this lady, and she was really gross. Oh. Like, how gross? Like, gross looking and acting, like, in behavior, like, gross behavior? Like, what do you mean? I don't know. Like, was she being weird and inappropriate, gross, like, gross jokes uh, you know like pg-13 movies that we're just now being allowed to watch uh, sorta sorta with the the acting gross but definitely looking gross definitely looking gross oh, and man. i guess she was acting gross but kind of cool i mean she kept she kept talking about these squirrels huh. that live outside her house. Interesting. And how she shoots them. Oh, that's disgusting. 
What do you mean? Hey, we're talking about saving the fish. Now you're going to have to go save those squirrels from the gross lady. I wouldn't save a squirrel. But you save a fish? Yeah. You can't even see the fishes, but you see squirrels you all the you time. you can't see the fishes? They're like underwater. You put can't... goggles on. I mean, how many times do you have the opportunity to put goggles on and go in a river? You go to swim class in the pool. Twice this, every summer. At the beach? When I go to camp. Oh. Forgot you guys have like a, a lake there. And a river. Yeah. With fish. Good for you. I've never been in a river. I've seen it on Animal Planet. You should get your parents to let you go to camp. My parents are never going to let me go to camp. They're Why like, not? Because I'm here all the time. And they're like, want me home for dinner all the time in the summer. Because they're like, we finally get to spend time as a family when you don't have homework to do. This summer, I get to be a counselor in training. Whoa. And then next year, you're going to be a counselor? That's right, a junior counselor. Oh, a junior counselor. So, wow. I know. You're going to have power. Yeah. Over the other little kids. All, all the counselors in trainings go on this big hiking trip, just them with no grown-ups. No grown-ups? No just, grown like, by yourselves? For a whole weekend. Wait. The boys and the girl counselor in training. Going on a camping trip with boys and girls? Mm-hmm. Go, we got to get a boy-girl party for sure. We got to prepare you for this. What do you mean? Um, you're going on a boy-girl sleepover party, and you've yeah. never been to a boy-girl party. I know. That's two more days than just, like, a single party. And we can't all carry a tent. Wh what does that mean? That means we're going to have to share tents. Okay, well, you're definitely going to sleep with boys in your tent. Why? Because, like, what kind of parents send their kids away to camp thinking, like, uh, oh, yeah, uh, sure, you can sleep in a tent with a girl at 13? Last year at camp? What happened? Did you hear rumors? What are these rumors? Susan... Magdovich? Yeah. Touched my dick. What? You're being freaking out over Rachel's bikini and someone already touched your dick? Why don't you tell me? Rachel looks good in her bikini. Yeah, well, I would imagine. I haven't seen it, but I would imagine. Back to the dick thing. Why didn't you tell me about that when it happened? <sighs> I don't know. This year, you definitely have to write me letters from camp, okay? And you know what's happening in your life. Uh, I hate writing the letters. Just one. You're only gone at camp for like, what, two weeks? Can I just mail you uh, Polaroids? What if I take a Polaroid camera this year and take pictures of stuff? Yeah. Right on the back with Sharpies. Okay. All right. That sounds I'll cool. I'll take that. Yeah. I'm going to send you Polaroids of my life here, I guess. I don't know okay. if it's going to be interesting while you're gone. Yeah. I'll see. Maybe. I'll try. I mean, try to have fun. I mean, I'll try for sure. Do your, your parents, they don't even sign you up for like those camps that are like at the museum? Oh, no. I definitely go to the camps at the museums because they're educational, but they're not overnight. So I'm just there to learn. And then I'm back for dinner time. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, I now love the food at camp. Really? We eat chili dogs. Wow. Barbecue sandwiches. You're so lucky, dude. Sometimes there's ribs. There's burgers. There's cookouts tw two, three times a week. Wow. Uh, Sometimes we do cookouts on the lake. I knew it, like on the beach. One time, this yeah. counselor put a grill on a canoe, took it out in the river, no. grilled in the river, and gave hot dogs and hamburgers to people that were swimming <laughs> and on floaties. <laughs> That's so cool. It was cool, and he had a cooler with soda, full of soda. They don't even wait for you for 30 minutes after you're swimming to like let you digest. Wow, we were swimming. They just let you do it. <laughs> it was great. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And the soda wasn't even caffeine-free. Whoa. But it was name brand. Yep. Wow.
Coca-Cola. Pepsi. Fanta. Dr. Pepper. They didn't have Pepsi, Fanta, or Dr. Pepper. Oh, uh, just the cola. Uh, well, no, they had Sprite. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Camp's going to be cool. Yeah. Do you think someone's going to touch your dick this summer? Yeah. What about Rachel? What about camp doesn't count? What do you mean camp doesn't count? You were just talking about waiting yeah, like seven years for this woman. I don't even know if Rachel knows I exist. Bec- yeah, but I'll get in later. Well, I'll get in when she's 15. So now you're going to go for the girls at camp? Well, yeah. I'm going to talk to to Susan again for sure. Oh, uh, yeah. I hope she's back this year. Guess you'll find out. Yeah. Y'all haven't talked since that last summer. Well, I wrote her a letter. You wrote her a letter? And you can't write me a letter. It's different. She touched my dick. (sighs) Well, I'm not going to do that, but it would be nice. I don't want you to do that. I know. I'm just saying it would be nice if you could send me a letter without me having to do that. I don't want you to do that. You know what I mean, David. God, why do you want me to send you a letter? Because it's going to be boring. We live next door to each other. I see you every day, and now I'm not going to see you for two weeks. Yeah, but we see each other all year. It's just two weeks. I know. Uh, whatever, I'll take the Polaroids, okay? Now what, now you don't want to send me Polaroids? What? You don't want to send me Polaroids I'll now? send you Polaroids. Okay, thank you. Jeez. Sorry, my neighbor's doing something. What are they doing? Well, I'm your neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> My other neighbor. <laughs> no, I don't know. Okay, what are they doing? He's are you looking like, out the window? Do you see him? Do you see him, Mr. Johnson? Over the fence? Oh, yeah. What is that? Uh, and he's carrying. Uh, I don't know. It's shiny for sure. It is shiny. Do you think it's gold? Ooh. Oh. If he buries it, we should dig it up. <laughs> He's taking it to his backyard. He's already got a shovel out there. Oh my god, he is burying it. Dude. Tonight, after everybody goes to bed, yeah, we gotta dig up that treasure. Okay. Let's see what it is. I got a shovel. Yeah? Yeah. Like a big shovel? I mean, it's not like my own personal shovel, but I'm saying like You're gonna my take... dad does stuff, you know. I'm, you know. Gardens, oh. tool man. He got tools. I'll get a shovel. Yeah. Yeah. Also, <laughs> for my birthday, my brother got me a spy kit. So wow. I might have some goggles that we could see with at night. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Night vision? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. I know. It's pretty cool. I also have this thing that you can stick to the wall, and when you turn uh-huh. it on, you can uh-huh. hear through the walls. Uh-huh. See through the walls? No, not see through, hear through. Just hear? Yeah. Like a cup? No, not like what we're doing. Like like it's like a like a radar gun thing, and you stick it to the wall, and you turn it on, and it connects to headphones, and you can hear through the wall. You owed it? Yeah, my brother gave me a spy kit for my birthday. That's a great spy kit. Yeah. I bought a spy kit once, and it was bogus. I mean, I'm hoping this one is not bogus. Yeah. I've tried some of the stuff. It works okay. Well, that's good. We could try the night vision goggles tonight when we dig up Mr. Johnson's treasure. What are we going to do about his dog? Hmm. Oh, we could bring him, like, some bacon. Some bacon? Yeah. Dogs love bacon, like yeah. in that commercial. Uh, yeah. <laughs> bacon? <laughs> bacon, bacon, bacon. <laughs> That's probably why I thought of it. Probably. Yeah, I'll bring him bacon. Here is, huh, word for the day, dilemma. Dilemma? Um, yeah, I learned it today. What? what if it's not treasure that we bury, I mean, that we dig up? What do you mean? Oh, like, what if it's, like, one time 
I buried my goldfish outside. I don't want to dig up a dead pet. That would be sad. Goldfish are gold. But, like, that's just a fish. Do you know what yeah, I mean? it'd be worth it. To dig up my fish? We're not digging up your fish. I know, but what if, like, he buries the pet and we dig it up? Well, then we know it's not gold. Yeah, I guess we just have to bury it again. Yeah. Well, here's hoping it's gold. Yeah, I hope it is gold. I would put myself through that camp. With the money from my, the gold. Your parents would let you go if you paid for it? I don't know, maybe. Well, I guess if you handed them a bunch of gold. Then I was like, I'm said, going to camp. I'm going to camp. <laughs> Stop me. <laughs> <laughs> They'd probably be like, no, you're going to college. Put it in the bank. Oh, but, God. But, 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 what if it's enough gold to put us through camp and college? Man, my mom told me she hopes I don't go to college. Your, your mom said, I hope you don't go to college. She said she can't. She doesn't know how she'd afford it. Oh. Well, maybe the gold will let you afford it. If not, yeah. I guess you have to get those things called scholarships where you can go for free. What? Yeah, you get a college scholarship. My older brother really wants to get one for basketball. And they pay for you to go to college. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you don't play basketball, but maybe swimming. Yeah, do you think? If you work really hard. I am pretty good. Yeah. I could do that. I could swim. Next year in high school, maybe I could join the swim team. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You definitely got to try out. Pretty sure you have to be on a team in order for colleges to look at you. Yeah, that's a good idea. Full of good ideas. My mom's waving at me. She says dinner's ready. Okay. What time are we meeting? Sundown. <laughs> no, it's way too early. Yeah, you're right. It's like in 20 minutes. Okay. 10.30. 10.30? You think your your parents will be asleep by 10.30? Oh, no. Probably not. 11.30. 11.30. Okay. We'll meet at the burial spot. I'll bring the shovel. Awesome. And the night vision goggles. Yeah, 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 for sure. And the thing that lets you hear through walls. And the bacon. And the bacon. What are you bringing? I'm bringing me. All right, fine. I'll see you there. All right. See you tonight. Bye. Bye. Thank you for listening to another episode of audio-based content. You can catch my guest, Kira, in another sketch comedy show at the Fourth Wall Acting Studio. May 4th at 7 p.m. for free. And you can also catch her in the Third Coast Lab with me at Third Coast Comedy Club. As always, check out my Etsy store by searching A-A-R-O-N-Z-V-I-F-E-L-D-E-R. Thank you for listening, and please subscribe.